Every now and then I get the urge to like redo the hairstyles my mum gave me when I was little and I can't quite do them properly yet so you have the honour of bearing with me while I try my best. I think about a year ago I made a video about the portfolio that I had at the time to get me into uni and now I'm graduating uni so I think it's time for a little update, a little refresher of what I've actually done in the past three years. So the portfolio I used to get into uni was made, it was works that I did over my GCSEs and my first year of college and I don't like a single image that I made back then. Let's just refresh. The first images in my old portfolio are these like powder paint ones, these were like um, GCSE ones. It was a time where I was very interested in like bright, vibrant, colourful photography, lots of movement. There was like a powder paint trend and like coloured smoke bomb trends going round and you can tell I was deeply inspired by that. But at the time I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my photography other than some kind of portraiture so I thought yeah, photographing friends, good place to start. Then you can see the point where I kind of got very inspired by um, a lot of self-portrait artists on Instagram and the people who take these beautiful portraits of girls in like princess dresses in castles and the self-portrait side it was these like very highly edited photoshopped images which is where I started going into this. <laughs> this, this is, this is terrible, this is terrible. This was made, I think, this is definitely before I started shooting Camera Raw. This is definitely before I knew what layer masks were. This was... I mean, it's okay. But it's also before I knew or felt comfortable taking photos of myself. So you can see I just have this like dead kind of glare in all the photos. This one's kind of cool, but I think I pretty much ripped the idea straight off someone else. And there's a lot of places like you can tell cutting out the hair, it's just a solid line. There's no, again, no layer mask at all. No idea what I was doing. Again, with the pretty dresses and the fancy, this is this is so many artists who did this at the time that I can't pinpoint the exact one. That's my inspiration. But it's nice to look through this portfolio and seeing like, oh yeah, I know exactly what era of Instagram photography was going on here. There's also just a lot of work I made at the time where it was just me wearing just my like casual clothes. Like no commitment to costume, no commitment to character or aesthetic or actual photography, just me and my clothes. This one I kind of enjoy, but you can tell it's this one stock image of a butterfly that everyone used. Like if you type in butterfly PNG onto Google Images, it's the first one that comes up. Also, my work was pretty much exclusively on Instagram, so I made a lot of images that came not as triptychs, but as themed rows. So it looked good on my feed. This one I do kind of enjoy as a concept. I did try and make, um, try and remake this in my first year of uni, but it just didn't go well. But I look at it, it's like, wow, that's a, that's a child, that is a baby. Again, we have these themed rows, this one was book inspired. These book pages were taken off the other book pages image I did. But again, I, I know exactly what era of photography influenced these. I was fond of this one for a while, but you can see that I did not know, um, <laughs> I had not known anything. This is again before I knew how to do layer masks and you can see the colours of my dress are very patchy because I just, I guess something went wrong. Something was off here. These are the first ones in my portfolio that are square and then everything since this has been square. Again, a, theme, a themed row, but these were also remakes of another image I did. There's a lot of recycling in my art. This was Definitely still before Camera Raw and almost definitely before Layer Mask still. But again, I can see my progress here. That's something nice about this portfolio and I think it's why I included when I remade images, is that when the people at my uni interview were looking through it, they can see that I've done better. I haven't developed my ideas at all, but my technique, something's going on there. Something. I'm pretty sure I edited this in PixArt. I remember being so proud of this when I made it, but again, it's entirely stock images. And I also have this vague memory of like, wow, I wish I had a real wound. This is an image that I still do love because the simplicity of it, and it's where you can really see what developed my style. It was this era onwards. And I think I did remake this. It'll be the first image you see in my new portfolio. But this, this is a defining moment. This image I was proud of because I shot it about 
a year before I got around to editing like this. And if you see the original edit, you can definitely see how much I've improved in this one year of time. And now my new portfolio is in this dirty box, but it's covered in dog hair. But now you've seen the portfolio that got me into uni, and now we get to look at the portfolio that I'm graduating uni with. <laughs> the first image we've seen here is from my first year of uni, is this one. Pretty much all of these would be shot in whatever my bedroom was at the time, which is like a bed sheet hung over my wardrobe and like my bathroom door. But yes, this, this is the foundation of what I, what I love. This is it's a bit dirty. But this was shot in camera raw and this does use layer masks. We have this one, which is an image that I've never come back to in any sense. But I've included it in my portfolio because I think I was proud, again, simplicity. But it shows a lot of um, technical skills, I believe. But yeah, I'd never come back to this one. I'd never get prints made of this one. It's just something about this image that I think, oh, not this one, not today, not for me. But it's kind of cool. I need to be a lot more, um, pra not praising myself, just a lot more confident, a lot more pride in my work. This, this, this is cool. Just for whatever reason, I don't come back to it. This was my pride and joy for so long. This would have been from still my first year of uni. I shot this by putting a bed sheet on my my uni room floor and having my tripod up my bed at a very precarious angle. And oh, so proud. Again, it's so simple, but it's so good. I'm first year of uni, but like the second half of first year, like January time. This is, I think, largely shot for fun because I was on a roll with inspiration ideas and feeling creative and productive in my work. So this is cool. Again, it has the essence of what my work is now. This kind of, a lot of bodies, a lot of skin, vaguely horror film, something off-putting, but kind of beautiful about it. But this one I do come back to. These were both shot in that January time. They're kind of a set. I was going through a rose petal face, a red face, a very purpley background face as well. But these again were just shot for fun. And I was, I think it's, at the time these were my best works. And it just shows that when I do things for fun, I make so many great things. This was made at the start of my second year of uni when I didn't technically have to do a photographic portfolio, but I wanted to do photos just to challenge myself, keep the inspiration flowing. This was meant to be a recreation of an image that I'll have to put here, an image that I made in my G not my GCSEs, my A-levels. So it was just a glow up if you want. This, I come back to this one a lot as well. This is my baby. This is my angel. I realise that holding up these images in their archival sleeves makes it hard to see, but you, you don't need to see it. <laughs> this was another brief pride and joy, again from the start of my second year at uni. Again, a very simple, very evocative. It gives you a feeling. I think I showed this to one of my lecturers, or I showed it in a crate or something and someone started talking about bondage and... Uh, no, 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 not for me, not for me. This one I made for fun over the summer, it's between my second and third year of uni. I had the urge to make something, but I didn't have the urge to shoot because illness, sick people things. So I went back to a shoot that I did in second year, but ended up not using anything because I hate the outcome and just remade it, but better. I have a whole video on how I made this one that has a lot more insight and a lot more important thoughts. But this, this was like my magnum opus for so long. I was so proud of this. I thought it was so cool. But <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say there. This is still pretty cool. This is still like my most technical image, I believe. Again, another simplistic pride and joy. This was shot by my beloved housemate Han, meaning I had the idea for it, but I couldn't do it on my own. So I had to say, but very politely ask them to come and click my little camera button for me. Because I don't want to risk dropping my very expensive camera in the water and they smashed it. They got my vision. I love seeing like such vague abstract ideas and they just know exactly what I want. But again, a very simplistic pride and joy. This was Ophelia. I keep saying it's Ophelia inspired because I always come back to these Ophelia water shoots. 
This was for an image inspired by women in Greek mythology. Ophelia is not a Greek character, but that was the reference. Again, for my third year, another woman in Greek mythology inspired. This is like my first actual um, multimedia or mixed media shoot. I remember um, I made this while watching Squid Game for a timeline of when that came out. And I was just like dripping black watercolour paint down paper and just trying to get these perfect drips. Again, I think this was inspired by a Halsey promo image. Okay, now we're moving on to the second half of my third year at uni. So the images that were actually meant for this portfolio. This is also the point where you can realise that I haven't really <laughs> developed my ideas over three years. But this project was called Oak. It was named after a house where I lived during third year. This was very inspired by my mental health, my chronic pain and having these very niche feelings expressed through like a fairy tale, a folklore, a horror film lens. This was a remake of The Woman of Hair in My Mouth, kinda, but pride and joy. So simple, so effective. There's something about this image that how I, I merged two different faces together for this, there's, there's something just off about it, which I think adds this off-putting horror film vibe. So she's not technically perfect, but she's so good. This is a remake of an image that I also made in first year which I would argue the one in first year is better in terms of the posing and the emotion but this one's technically better based off um, the actual images themselves but again love her love this like blue text stretchy skin vibe that I'm emotionally attached to so cool another remake of something I made in first year just with a skirt made of oak leaves rather than a butterfly inspired one Another image dropped with the assistance of How My Beloved. Another image that I think, again, so cool. A strong image on its own, but then I think in the context of my portfolio, that this is a perfect execution of my vision. It's just not right for this project, but I'm keeping it in there because I'm stubborn and I think it's sick. This is an image that I originally shot in second year, but just couldn't edit it until now. This was a last minute addition into this project because I finally worked out how to do it. But oh, this is, again, she is so good. I love this image so much. There's, looking at it up close now, I can see there's something, you can see a little strap here, which I would remove, but oh, so good. I love that I have no other commentary. I've gone past the criticism part. I'm now straight to praise because of it. Of course your most recent work is your favourite and your best, you know? That's just how it should be. This is another mixed media image made in the same kind of vein as Squid Game of just dripping paint on water. Again, we have these bodies merged together. This one, when I show my portfolio to my mum, I'm going to take this out because I feel like she's going to make some comment on having my body in my work. And I just can't be done with her comments today. Baby. A baby. This image, I think it's sick. From the actual process of editing, it took me so long because I couldn't work out. I'm trying to find a way that it's not too shiny. I couldn't work out what I was doing because I couldn't find the perfect stock images, but I read on Photoshop in the neutral filters gallery. There's a special little filter that you can like change the seasons of images. And oh, my beloved, my favorite Photoshop feature is that one. It worked wonders on this image. I have nothing else to add about this. And then for the final image in this portfolio, and my current favourite is Frog Skeleton. Affectionately nicknamed um, Seaweed PNG for the amount of time I spent trying to find the perfect seaweed stock images. The version that I have of this in my Instagram is animated, so like the seaweed, you can't even see the seaweed. You can, you can get the vision. So the seaweed moves and the water moves and I think it's cool again. But this took me so long to get right. I have beef with this image because originally I wanted it just to be on a plain back background, more like anatomy dissecting vibes rather than um, transforming into a frog underwater vibes. But love this so much. Um, so that's my new portfolio. I think I'll be back soon to talk more about that specific project because there's a lot I want to say about it. But that's all I want to say for now. Bye.